Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Toy Box Vlogs with me, Dan, and this time Will's back again. Give us a wave. Hi. So we've had today, or yesterday, last night, delivered, we had some Hot Wheels, didn't we? Mm. Some new ones for 2018. So yeah. me and Will have already opened the box up. As you can see, they're on the floor. But we've had some other bits and pieces in as well, haven't we, mate? So yeah. we'll just quickly show you guys what we've had in because this year for Hot Wheels, it's their 50th anniversary, 50 years. Hot Wheels cars, which I find absolutely incredible to believe. So we've had in the five pack set, which has got basically their 50th anniversary logo on each of the cars. So they're in. And then we've also had come in some of these 50th anniversary sort of American muscle cars really, aren't they, Will? Yeah. So we've got the, the Dodge in there. There's a Camaro, Chevy, so some pretty cool looking cars there. £3.25 each. Which one's your favourite, Will? Yeah. Any particular one? You, you're liking that one, are you? Yeah, it's quite cool. So yeah, so we've had those in. And then we've had four boxes of the 72 regular cars that we sell on the shelf for £1.75 currently at the moment. And here they all are. We've opened the box up. We're just going to quickly go through them all, aren't we, Will? Yep. So we'll go through them, pick out also which ones we think are our favourites. So we'll start over here. So we've got Speed Slayer. It's like a speed record sort of car, isn't it? Then we've got another Speedster one with Glow in the Dark Wheels. Then we've got a custom Ford Maverick. Teed off, which is like a golf buggy with a massive engine on the front. We might see that down our local golf course, would we? Will nope. uh, Glenn, another Glow in the Dark Wheels one, high beam, Got a couple of them. One of Will's favourites, yep. Ford GT. Do you want to put that in your favourite pile and we can show everyone Will's favourites at the end? And we've got Loopster, which is obviously a roller coaster themed one. Then we've got Dodge Charger Daytona with a humongous spoiler on the back there. Then we've got Rockstar with white wheels. Might need that again. I have heard it's meant to snow again at the weekend. High Roller. Quite like that, it's quite cool. We've got a 32 Ford Bone Shaker and another Ford GT. Then we've got Pontiac and a Chevy, both with flames on. Then we've got these two, a Ford Fiesta and another sort of speedster car. They've like got chess pieces on, so there's obviously those on it. Then we've got the old classic aeroplane. There's always one in every box. A couple of Chevys. Volkswagen Beetle with a humongous engine out the back. That's quite cool. I'm liking that. I'm liking the, the colours on that. Yeah, that's cool. That's a 68 Mercury. Honda Civic Type R in red. We did have one, a real one go past the shop today. Not with those colours on it, but in red. Another one of mine and Will's favourites, Aston Martin 177. Do you want to put that with your pile, Will? Um, a Nissan Type X, 1996, a couple of those. Custom Datsun, Mazda RX-7 in green. Similar to the one they used on Top Gear, the weekend just gone. Hot Ryler, it's obviously supposed to be like some sort of dog. A couple of those. Street Wiener. And we've got a Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. An old classic GTR, that one. Porsche 917. Love that. Actually love the colours with the Golf logo on. I think that's got to be another one for our favourite pile out of this box. Then we've got Batman. Batmobile out of there from... Arkham, the Arkham Knight. And we've got a Lotus Esprit. Classic orange. 
like in there. And we've got some sort of pickup truck. Then we've got a Pagani. Absolutely awesome looking car. Yeah, love that. Another one for the pile wheel. Then we've got another Street Wiener, another Pagani, Dodge Challenger SRT, Chevy Wagon, Dodge Charger Daytona, Bubble Matic, which is a bit strange looking one. Another one of those golf buggies. And we've got Tankinator, Porsche 911 from 1971. Actually, I like that. Put that in our favourite pile. Create Racer, Ollie Rocket, Shindo, Beetle, Custom Datsun, Fiat 500, another Civic Type R, Motorbike. There's always a motorbike in every box. Piranha Terra. Bit different. Oh, another classic. This is a good one. The Mercedes AMG GT. I think it might be a GTR, I'm not quite sure. But it's like another YouTuber called Smee. He's got a real one of these, amongst other supercars. You'll check his channel out. It's oh, fantastic. That's for the favourite pile. Solid muscle. Two of those. 57 Chevy Valentines. And they're a month late. Rally Cat, uh, that's quite a beast, 1970 Dodge Charger, Pro Stock Camaro, that's quite cool, Beetle, uh, that's a strange looking one, Volkswagen T2 pickup truck, flatbed. So there you have it, so that's our latest box of Hot Wheels cars that we've unpacked, and they'll go on the shelf. And mine and Will's favourite six are these, aren't they, mate? We are loving these. So, yeah, so our favourites out of the box is the classic 4GT, the Aston Martin 177. Just loving that colour. The colour is incredible. Really nice. Little Porsche 917 in the golf colours. And the Pagani. Smee's Mercedes AMG. And a lovely 1971 Porsche 911. So there you have it. So there are latest Hot Wheels cars that we've had come in. Which Will loves his Hot Wheels. We've got loads at home, haven't we? We are hoping to do a 50th anniversary Hot Wheels window for the shop later in the year. So we'll have to bring his collection of Hot Wheels cars in. I just want to show you guys upstairs our latest developments because I did a video yesterday showing that the changes, what we have in mind because we've got Playmobil coming back. So we'll just quickly whiz up the stairs and show you guys what I've been up to so far. So as you can see this shelf here now goes the length at the front of the shop and we've moved the Kasdan over so that's in there we've got this humongous gap at the minute but here's going to get filled so the plan is take all these dolls off take all this shelving down move that out of the way there's some shelving in here that's going to be taken out of the way then that's got to go back up put back over there a bit and then build another one of these to put next to it. Then the dolls will go on here along with those dolls. We'll put another extra shelf in, lower it all down. So that will be nice and full of dollies and dolls, Barbie, etc. And then here in the gap, we'll put the Playmobil. So the Playmobil will go from floor to ceiling that way. And then We'll have a gap here where we've got something in mind. We've got a giant Playmobil figure over at Houseworth, which we're going to try and squeeze him in the car if we can. And then he's going to fit in there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this area will look pretty cool with Playmobil being back. Yeah. So, because it's had a two-year rest, 
Our customers have been asking us for it and we're like, yeah, okay, we'll bring it back. So it's back. We've managed to squeeze it in and find it at home. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll sell well for us. So there you have it, guys. So that's our Hot Wheels. That's the latest development on upstairs in the shop. So thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll keep you more updated throughout the week. Hopefully, I'll do another video on Thursday to see how it's all looking. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.